One month to go before the midterms, the GOP hammering home the message that your safety is in peril with Democrats in power. New data from the FBI backs that up. Murder rates jumped more than 4% last year. That doesn't factor in some of the nation's largest Democratic-run cities like Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, Philadelphia. Even though Democrat policies are to blame, President Biden is trying to flip the script and pin the defund the police movement on Republicans, actually. Biden's deputy press secretary telling Fox, Biden inherited a rising violent crime rate. Every Republican in Congress voted against the critical funding we delivered to stop the police layoffs happening all over the country. Judge, it's Republicans' fault they didn't give enough money to Biden's agenda. You know, that is so infuriating. And, you know, you, you just have to, at this point, it's a question of faith. You know, de fide. You either believe him or you don't. I don't believe him. Obviously, what he's referring to with that, that Republicans uh, voting against funding the police, was a, it was a, a like a slush fund that was in, in, included in their legislation for uh, the pandemic, where you could use funds for certain things, but there was no requirement and there was no restriction. But the, it was the Dems who were quiet during the summer of 2020 as people were getting uh, businesses burned, people getting killed, and precincts getting burned down. It was the Democrats who were yelling defund the police. And Cori Bush just a couple days ago wants to double down on it. And it's the Democrat cities where the mayors control the police departments, where we've got the biggest problems in this country. And uh, the fact that you've got New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Philadelphia won't even give their mm -hmm. number of crimes to the FBI, tells me that that increase in murders of 4.2 percent is probably double what they're saying it is. And so it's a it's a shell game where they're just saying, no, we never said that, you said it. And Geraldo, why is not a mystery? The polling is terrible for Democrats on crime. But isn't that interesting? I, I, I was surprised when I saw that uh, abortion, inflation, immigration, all are, uh, you know, take a backseat to, to crime. That people really feel the, the main job of government is to keep people safe and, if, if, and, ha and to make them feel safe. Like you say, you can't walk to Saks Department so a couple of blocks away because you're afraid that something's going to happen. Uh, you know, it's, it's, people have to have a sense of well-being, that society is going to take care of you, that the, that the criminals will be suppressed and apprehended and prosecuted. And, and when the, that starts falling apart, it's very, very concerning to me. And I hate that what, what Democrats have done to cops. I just I have so many cop friends, and, and to see that, how they feel, they feel yeah. beleaguered, they feel assailed by Democrats. Jesse, the only other thing that I can ever see Joe Biden talk about when it comes to crime is to tie it to guns. So his answer to a rising crime rate is gun control. Yeah. Well, they're saying that Republicans don't want to vote for the assault weapons ban. Right. And that's what he's for. But, yeah, they don't want that. They want to keep their area of 15s. This guy, Philip Bump, do you know him at the Washington Post? Yeah. This guy's such a knucklehead. <laughs> he writes this article, Crime is Surging in Fox News Coverage. <laughs> because our guy, Jeno Caldwell, went around and tried to confront yep. a bunch of Democrats and ask him about the crime crisis. This guy, Bump, comes out, writes this whole piece in the Post. There is no crime crisis, he's saying. He's saying it's just anecdotal. Fox is just throwing up a bunch of videos. He goes, the crime rate's not up. Crime rate's down. It's not a big deal. And it's not a major issue. There's, like, all these other issues that are more important than crime. It's a top three issue on every That's single right. survey they do. This guy's a coward, Philip Bump. I dare him to come on my show. I dare you, Philip Bump, <laughs> whatever you say. Come on. Come on, Philip. He's, li he's a liar, out. too. And he's a liar. And he knows it. Out. And he won't be able to defend this column. But, you know, if you look at Democrat candidates, look at Fetterman in Pennsylvania, wants to let go a third of inmates. Go to New Hampshire and you look at Ron Johnson's opponent. He's trying to glorify criminals as well. You look at Adam Laxalt in Nevada. Mm -hmm. You know, the law enforcement endorsed the incumbent before, and now they've switched and they've endorsed him. Biden can say whatever he wants. Go talk to any law enforcement officer on the street, and they will tell you exactly who is responsible for the crime wave. It's not Republicans. It's Biden, and it's every one of those uh, Democrat governors that push for defund the police to start with. So good luck with this, trying to pin it on Republicans. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.